Hey boys and girls, I hope you've been having an awesome time in our virtual VBS this month. We are on week four. I can't believe it's already been four weeks. I hope you have been fun, having fun learning all our memory verses and songs and something special I wanted to tell you about. Do you see my treasure chest? Remember Captain Crook and Mr. Mix stole this treasure chest? Oh, and Captain Corona stole this from us. And remember the treasure that was inside was the word of God. And that's what we've been learning about all month is all the hidden treasure God has for us in his word. But now what our treasure test contains, I've got all these awesome Mystery Island treasures. I've got puzzles, I've got stickers, stamps, pins, markers, so much stuff. And I thought, Liz and I thought, what can we do with all this treasure? Well, we have a plan and an idea about this. We've been asking, Crazy Oli's been telling you about your weekly memory verses. I hope you've been practicing them at home. They're on your crafts every week that you've been doing. So our challenge to you is if you send us a video of you saying your memory verse, if you just decide you just want to memorize one memory verse or all five, for every memory verse that you memorize, you are going to get a special treasure in the mail. And you don't know what it is, but it promise you it's going to be awesome. So we want to mail out as many treasures as we can to all our awesome GSK kids. So make sure you tell your moms and dads, I need to help, help me memorize my memory verse so I can send the video in to Miss Jen or Miss Liz, and we'll make sure you get your treasure. This is sea snakes. Noel, well, you know there's snakes in the ocean. Yeah. Have you seen one? Yeah. Maybe down in Mexico? Okay, so we have a jar with vinegar <laughs> and we have gummy worms, our snakes that have been soaking in baking soda. So, what do you think is going to happen when you put them in the vinegar? They're going to grow back to normal. They're going to grow back to normal. Let's see what happens. On the ocean. Looks like snow. 
Welcome back to Mystery Island, kids. We're so glad you're here. Miss Tiger, you will never guess what I found today when I was digging for treasure. What? What did you find? I found a diamond. Oh my goodness, wow. I know, kids, do you know what a diamond is? Awesome. God is like a diamond because he's by far the most valuable of all the earth. He's much more valuable than a diamond or any other jewel or even all the money in the world. He's a steady rock of love, kindness, goodness, and we can trust him. Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to tell you a story about David and Goliath. It comes from 1 Samuel chapter 17. The Philistines, they were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. A giant soldier named Goliath yelled, Bring out your best soldier to fight me. If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves. He boomed. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. King Saul's soldiers, they were all afraid of the giant. They did not want to fight him. Meanwhile, Young David was taking food to his brothers. They were soldiers in King Saul's army. And when David reached the camp, he saw Goliath the giant. And David heard the giant's challenge. I am not afraid to fight the giant, said David. King Saul, call, King Saul called for David and told him, You cannot fight the giant. You are too young. David replied, God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David, but it was big and heavy. David wasn't used to wearing armor. David went to a nearby stream and he picked up five stones. He stood before Goliath. The giant laughed at him, but David didn't care. He said, I come before you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. David put a stone in his sling and ran towards the giant. Then he let the stone fly. It hit Goliath the giant in the forehead and he fell to the ground. The Philistines saw that their hero was dead and then they ran away. I hope you enjoyed that story about David and Goliath. Oh, Miss Tiger, thank you so much for telling us that story about David and Goliath and how we can also trust in God. Now, let's send it over to Crazy Oli for our Scripture of the Week. Oh, Castaway, you got me! I was just sort of enjoying the, the weather here on this deserted island, but I just wanted to let you know, and they call me Crazy Oli, but these verses I'm reading come from the Lord Almighty, and that is the greatest thing that I could ever, ever expect. And the last one I want to read to you comes from Proverbs, the third chapter, fifth and sixth verses, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. All of these are better than gold. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye, castaways. 
Hey friends, why don't you help me try to call Sunny out again? When I count to three, I want you to yell, Come out, Sunny. Ready? One, two, three. Come out, Sunny. Oh, cowabunga, my dudes and dudettes. What's going on? Hey, Sonny, well, we were just talking about trusting God. What? Hey, I just learned a Bible verse, and it's about trusting in God. It goes like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Let's say that together, boys and girls. Trust, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, but I I've got a question. I'm not sure what the word trust means. It means that you know that you can believe someone will do what he, he or she says she will do. Like, maybe you trust your mom to always pick you up at preschool. Or maybe it's like a pirate who trusts his parrot friend, like Trusty the Macaw here. Whoa. See Trusty? Yeah, okay. Well, Sonny, just like the pirate trust his bird, let's see if you trust me. If I asked you to turn around and fall, would you trust me to catch you? Do you believe I will do what I say I'll do? Yeah, totally. I totally trust you. Then let's try it. Okay, sure. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn like this. Okay. And then I make sure your hand is there. Yeah. And, then I, and then I fall like, like that? Uh, yes, except for you can do it. You can trust me. Don't you trust me? Okay, so all right, this is kind of scary. So I'm supposed to fall without looking at you. Okay, all right. Here we go. Um, <sighs> Take a deep breath. Ready? <laughs> All right, boys and girls, do you trust me to catch Sunny? Okay. All right, if they if they if they trust you, then I'm gonna trust you. Here we go. Oh, 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 dear. Dear. I got you, Sunny! What? That was awesome! I can trust you! <laughs> you sure can, but there's someone you can trust even more than me, and that's God. Oh. He's perfect. So he can never make a mistake with your life. He has all the power and knowledge in the world. And yet he uses it with love and goodness. Not ever in a bad way. He always has your best interest at heart. So like, I can trust him even though I can't see him and don't always understand what's happening? Yes, you can trust him because the Bible tells us we can. And since the Bible was written by God, it's perfect too and perfectly trustworthy. So just remember, God can never, ever, ever do anything wrong. So whatever's going on in your life, whether it's something scary, something sad, something crazy or glad, you can trust God. Whoa. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to go serve some, okay? Check you later, dudes and dudettes. All right. Bye-bye, Sunny. Bye, Sunny. All right, friends, it's that time. It's almost time for us to go. Thank you so much for being with us through VBS. We have loved you being here, and we hope that you've enjoyed it as well. Now, let's wrap it up, and I'm going to ask you a few more questions. So I want you to either shout out yes or no when you hear my question. Ready? The first one is, is God mighty? Does God know everything? Is God here right now? Can we trust God? And does God love us? I hope that you answered yes to all of that because God loves us so much. Thank you for being here with us, Ms. Tiger, and I've enjoyed it so much. Thank you so much. We hope you've enjoyed BBS. Bye, friends. Bye-bye. on the back. 
clear stones. And then they're going to want to take some regular Elmer's or any type of school blue that's white. Right, Lou? Yeah. And they're going to mix that with a little bit of water. And it's going to make sort of a slushy type substance. You want to make sure that you do break the glue down a bit with the water so that it's clear All when right. you adhere your message to your gemstone for your gemstone magnet. All right, perfect. So the first thing you're going to do is trace your magnets. You're going to need three little um, pieces of paper that are going to fit on the back of your magnet. So you're going to trace around them and then cut them out. And I have already done that once here. So I've already cut my little magnet out and I've started my message that says I. I was going to write I love Jesus. So you cut it out and then you write your message, cut it out and then it's going to go on the back of your magnet. So you, after you cut it out, you've decorated it, you put a little bit of glue. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, your glue and water mixture on the back. Yep, put your magnet on the side that's paper. Thank you, Charlsie. Then you've got a little magnet. And you can stick it on your refrigerator, refrigerator or, or any other. Or your pirate ship. Or your pirate ship. Mm -hmm. Right? You've got your little message. Metal. God is proud. Perfect. Now, what's so great about these is you can use this message, right? What's so great about these is you can use this message to record any of your favorite thoughts or verses from this week's VBS. Perfect. Do you know what would be great, Miss Jade, is to give this to a friend. If you have a friend that maybe wasn't able to come to VBS, or a friend in your neighborhood, or a friend that you've just been missing, we haven't gotten to really see a lot of our friends lately, this would be a great thing to give to someone. Just put it on their porch. Or oh, someone all the way in Tennessee? Maybe anyway. you can mail it to them. That would be such a great gift. That's a great idea, Trip. You can mail it to them. You could, um, some of our doors, some people have magnetic doors on their porch. You could just leave it on their, on their, um, but or on like their, <gasps> what about on their mailbox? Oh, their yeah. Post, that their would work. Post yeah. That would work. That would be awesome. So many great ideas. Thank you, guys. So we hope you guys have had a great week. I hope you've had some fun making some crafts. I hope you've enjoyed BBS. It's been a little bit different this year, but I hope you've loved it. Hope you've had some fun with your family. Yes. Um, we've loved getting to visit with you from our pirate ship, and um, we had a great time. So we love you guys. We miss you. And we miss getting to see you, but we you. have loved having you on the pirate ship. Have a great day. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Hey boys and girls and parents, I hope you parents are watching this because this is really, really important. It is, God wants us to have so much fun learning about Him and praising Him. That is it. what His heartbeat is all about, and He wants us to enjoy this, and I hope you guys have enjoyed virtual VBS, but there's a huge part of, part of VBS that I've always loved every year, and that's when I see these kids give back. To kingdom work. And last year for VBS, we found a mission in Rwanda, Africa, and we raised, I, I think, close to $400. We were able to buy several goats for the village, villagers there, and they desperately need help right now. They are going through this pandemic just like we as Americans are going through, and they have less there. And so I thought, what better way to give back to God after us having such an awesome time, enjoying songs, enjoying crafts, enjoying awesome Bible stories where we can really put what we're learning to action. And so my challenge to you guys and you parents, maybe encourage your kids. Let's figure out some chores, they, extra chores they can do around the house. Maybe their next door neighbor needs their leaves picked up or their, mow, their lawn mowed and try to earn some money. And we are going to have a special fund set up for VBS. Whatever, we will have it earmarked for you guys to give to the VBS um, uh, uh, Rwanda Fund.
and you can send your money into that to that and we're going to try to our goal is fifty dollars if we can raise fifty dollars by the end of this month we will be able to buy a goat for the villagers in rwanda africa so i really hope you hope you will pray about this and i hope you're going to accept this challenge and let's be a blessing to so many others around um, our world and um, I'm so grateful I hope you watch this video clip real quick about what the um, children in Rwanda Africa are all about hello our partners and supporters I just want to take this time uh, and encourage you to continue uh, supporting our goat uh, giving uh, initiative we've been doing where we give goats to uh, different families uh, they get a goat and once the goat produce uh, they give uh, to the neighbor uh, in a way of uh, shaping the community and continuing to inspire the community to love each other in the name of Jesus and we are encouraging you to continue uh, supporting us uh, because that's one way we can help these families get out of poverty uh, they can sell one goat and be able to buy health insurance uh, pay school tuition, uh, put food on the table, so many things can come out of that, that and it serves as a, uh, an economic stimulus to these uh, vulnerable families. You see me in a ranch right now where I have cows behind me uh, just because we just got 210 goats, that's why you don't see goats behind me, but we are hoping we will give uh, more goats uh, in the next uh, uh, few months uh, or so. Let me take one moment again and say thanks for what you, you've done and I hope you continue to help us uh, serve the community and the kids in the name of Jesus. Thank you.